speed skating has changed a lot over the years. When I first started speed skating, first started doing World Cups, we, we used blades that were completely fixed to your boot. And in 1997, skaters started using blades that had a hinge under the ball of your foot. So that as you extended your foot, the blade stayed flat on the ice. It, didn't, it, it, it detached from the heel of your boot, allowing you to give more, more power for a longer period during your, your push phase of, of skating. Um, also, the, the, the materials that we use in suits have changed. You know, more aerodynamic materials. The, they, they put different additives in the water when they make ice now to try and make the ice faster. Um, so some of these are actual improvements in the sport and some are artificial. You know, if, if you put something in the ice, everyone gets faster. You know, it doesn't actually change the results or change uh, the technique of a skater, but, but everyone gets faster. So it makes the sport a little more exciting for a brief period until all the tracks have this in their water and then, it, then there's no, no unexpected results time-wise. And um, technically the sport's always becoming more refined. The, the overall technique, when I look at the level now compared to 20 years ago, it, it, it's higher now than it used to be. So the, the quality of skating is higher and there's a lot more covered ovals. So the training is getting better and better so that you know skaters, they just have more time on the ice. The main reason was I was better at long track, but it wasn't necessarily a, a situation where I liked long track better and or, or preferred it because growing up in a place like Red Deer, you have to do both if you're a speed skater because the long track ice we have down downtown is uh, natural ice, so if it's not cold, there's no ice. So we would do short track starting in you know, September, October for a few months, and by around Christmas break from school. The, the ice would be ready for long track. So then we'd start you know, doing long track for a couple of months and then by Easter or a little before Easter, we're back on short track, finishing the season on short track. So I think that was a, that's probably a strength of, uh, of mine though, is having grown up done, done both. So short track is really, um, you have to be really good on the turns to, to do well at short track and long track you have to be good at both. So, so it helped me become a more well-rounded skater, helped me, uh, handle the, the higher speeds when I, when I went to faster tracks and when I got bigger I had a better idea how to skate turns a little more fearlessly than, than some of the guys who never did short track. I think one of my favorite uh, you know memories from the Olympics is is being part of a, a much bigger team. You know, you go to the Olympics and it's not just speed skating anymore it's 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 all sports all Olympic sports so you meet new people you, you uh, find new uh, you know commonalities between not just the sports but also between the athletes that you meet from other sports and so it's uh, it's it's quite interesting to, to to experience that and it's also you know there's so much build up towards it and so much um, attention on it that you really uh, want your team to do well so it's nice that it's you know at, at a World Cup it's hard to watch all the, your other teammates race because sometimes you're preparing to race or you're you're training because you don't race that day and you're and uh, you're, you're going to rest the day before a race. You're not going to go and, and watch races all day. But at the Olympics, because it's every race is on a different day, you have a lot of chance to go watch your teammates race and cheer them on. So that's something that's that's nice to experience. Being inducted into the Alberta Sports Hall of Fame is it's a big honor. It's not something I ever set out to achieve or, or had on my mind at any point. And uh, because I never thought I'm going to be so good one day that they want to uh, put me in the Hall of Fame.